Welcome. All right, so in this case, what I have is tangent of x times cosine of x plus cosecant of x times sine squared of x equals 2 sine of x. Now, obviously, the most complicated side is going to be our sine. That's going to be on the left-hand side. But what I'm going to want to do in this case is when I'm looking for this, um, I see a lot, you know, rather than trying to add these two terms together, I see that most of my trigonometric functions are paired with either um, a reciprocal, like cosecant and sine, um, or one, if I reverted this to the um, quotient identity, which would be sine over cosine, then, well, then those cosines can delete out. So to help me kind of visualize this, what I'm going to do is convert everything to sines and cosines. And that is a very, very, very helpful technique to use when you're trying to verify your identities. So I have sine of x over cosine of x times cosine of x plus 1 over sine of x times sine squared of x equals 2 sine of x. All right, well, now you guys can see that my cosines are now going to divide out. My sines are going to divide up, but only one of the sines, right? Kind of think of it like this. x squared divided by x equals x2 minus 1, which just equals x, right? So it's not going to be both sines, but I'm still going to have a sign in my denominator or my numerator. So now I have sine of x plus sine of x. Well, remember, ladies and gentlemen, x plus x equals 2x. It's the same thing for a trigonometric. So this is going to be 2 sine of x which is exactly the same as our right-hand side. So that is how we're going to verify that identity. Thanks.